what is up guys my name is the Eggams. today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 using VirtualBox oh my god alright so first thing that you need to do is obviously download VirtualBox uh, right now I'm actually starting up uh, Windows 7 because I already installed it so all that you want to do is install VirtualBox, install this file that I created myself using a Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit software disk. I found this in my garage, amazingly. And, um, yeah, that's really all you have to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There, there's a lot more stuff to that. After you install this file, it's located right in the description. Uh, all you have to do, go to VirtualBox. Oh, right now, it's still doing that. And you want to go to Settings. Actually, no. First, you want to click New. You want to type in a name. I'm going to just do YT for YouTube. Make sure it's set to Windows 7 64 bits. If you don't have this setting, that means this tutorial here won't be able to help you because I'm using a 64 bit software disk. It only works with 64-bit computers. Uh, but yeah, you can find some of the tutorial for a 32-bit computer uh, somewhere else. So after that, all you want to do is click Next. Uh, I raise this a little bit higher. Uh, you want to press Create New. Next. Next. After that, you can just leave this how it is. Create. And what it'll do, it'll create an all-new thing. After that, you want to go into Settings. I'll scroll down to where it says Storage. This is the most important part. You want to click here. You want to click this. It's a little thing. And you want to press this. What this will do is you want to find the file that you, that you downloaded. The Windows 7 ISO file. You want to click open, you want to press OK. Then after that, you will have your, your thing set up. After that, you just want to press start. And uh, I'm not going to do that because I currently have it running already. And then it will bring you up to a little menu. Uh, actually, you know what, I get it. I start up. Alright, so let's just take a little second. Uh, I'll more likely cut this part out in editing. Alright, so you want to run the virtual thing and it'll, it'll do this. It'll load the files from the ISO file. Uh, it's probably not a good idea because I'm actually currently running it also over here. And yeah. Don't worry if, like, you haven't installed Windows 7 before. Uh, all this is normal. Everything that's done. It's like... This virtual box here is acting like it's its own computer. So what it'll do is, like... It's like you installed the disk already and it's like a brand new computer. It will... Uh, read the disk. Oh, it's lagging a whole ton. Whoa, bad idea doing this. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna close this out. Is you probably know how it is. It's like I'm gonna press install. Oh, okay. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Power off. Ah, uh, bad idea doing that. What advice? Never run two things at once. All right. So this is almost done here. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. Very simple. Very fast. Very easy. Uh, I had no, I'm having no trouble with it at all. I'm just gonna delete this though. Oh god, I was take care. So I will have a link in the description for the file. I will also have a nice little tutorial, uh, just uh, in text in the description for if you uh, want to just read through that because I've never done a tutorial before and that's about it so make sure you like subscribe 
Uh, tell everyone about it. Tell them about this channel. Tell them to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!